Vladimir Putin is making good on his promise to strike back at the U.S., test firing nuclear capable missiles from a submarine near NATO's borders. Vladimir Putin's spokesman confirming Moscow intends to further beef up its forces after America pulled out of the INF treaty with Russia and test fired its own new missile. You have surely heard the president's instructions. They have been given. In general, there has been quite intensive activity lately, both for military development and for our troops' maintenance in the proper state. In a span of about 48 hours, Russia has conducted a flurry of military drills. Fighter jets launching air-to-air -air missiles flying out of occupied Crimea. The Army practicing the so-called stealth deployment of medium-range nuclear-capable Iskander missiles in Kaliningrad and practicing anti-ballistic missile defense in the Far East. All this as President Trump, at the G7 summit in France, voiced his desire to invite Russia to the next meeting of the group of leading industrial nations in the U.S. next year. French President Emmanuel Macron, however, acknowledging no consensus was reached with other leaders on the issue. President Trump showing concern for Putin's feelings. You know, he's a proud person. Would I invite him? I would certainly invite him. Whether or not he could come psychologically, I think that's a tough thing for him to do. You have a G8, now it's a G7, and you invite the person that was thrown out really by President Obama and really because he got outsmarted. But the Kremlin is not even acknowledging it wants back into the G7. Vladimir Putin's top diplomat almost mocking President Trump's advances. We have nothing to do with it. We haven't asked anybody for anything. We found out about this from public statements of certain Western colleagues. We haven't requested anything on this issue and are not going to. Life goes on. Meantime, as President Trump's efforts at diplomacy sputter, the military escalation continues. Russia also announced it will soon rearm old Soviet-era bases on the Black Sea with new missiles. Fred Plaitkin, CNN, Moscow.